Well, good morning, friends. What a beautiful spring weekend we are gonna have today and tomorrow. I'm planning to bring you along. I'm a little congested and sick. Baby, baby's still here. So I'm overdue right now, five days. I was 11 days late with my second, one week over with my first, so, and induced with that one. So we'll just play by ear. God has a timing for when the baby's to come. But I thought I'd bring you along on this weekend, just kind of a relaxed family weekend, finish up some outdoor projects, garden things. I'll show you my gardens. Um, there's not a whole lot in the produce garden. It's like, you know, short little stocky plants, but we've had a good morning. It's about 8.20, 8.30 already. Um, had breakfast with a rhubarb coffee cake that hopefully you saw in my spring day in the kitchen. And then um, lunch is going to be leftovers and we might go out to eat tonight, honestly. So you won't see a lot of food being made, but you get a lot of that in some of my other videos as well. Anyways, let's just keep rolling with our day. <laughs> 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 All right, so I'm in my bedroom working on that a little bit while the girls are playing with some Play Doh. And Blaze had to re power wash the deck um, a couple vlogs ago. He power washed it, sanded it down, and then we're gonna stain it. But then it rained for days and days and was super windy, so we couldn't get that project done. But I'm working on the bedroom a little bit, just adding a few decor pieces. It's not complete, it's the nursery and our master together. But I will share with you a few of the updates that I've made. It's very simple, I don't have anything up here above the board and batten yet. I've been trying to find something like simple, um, neutral, but I don't know. I'm just not exactly sure what I'm feeling. So I don't know if I want like cottage farmhouse or boho cottage, I'm not sure. But I'll just share with you a little bit of what has happened thus far. Okay, so above the rocking chair, and yes, there's a pile of blankets there. I put this print. I actually found it at our local bin store. They just gave it to me. The reason they gave it to me is because there is a little wet mark right there, but I decided just to leave it. I think it matches the um, wall really well. Here's the bassinet where that will be. And if you missed, we got a new large rug to go underneath the bed. Um, I got that from Amazon. I can link it below. It's got like hints of orange and not really orange, I guess, more like golds and a few reddish tones but i'm okay with that extra color the bedding i've still had for a long time so this i think was a christmas gift it's just a duvet i really like that pattern just a simple white um i only have one set of sheets so i should probably get another and the pillows i, I don't know i want to add some extra stuff to the bed just like make it more cozy um, a little more pattern on the bed as well. So give me some hints, maybe some links of things you think would look good in this room. And then we did hang the curtains and I hung them, had my husband hang them all the way up to the top just cause it's a very small space and give that, you know, larger room aesthetic. So the bed used to be over there and then we moved it to this side and it worked to put our dresser right here. So just working on putting a few things on here. So there's gonna be like some baby stuff in here, like the um, wipes maybe, I don't know, just some other stuff there to make easy access. Um, just moved a different plant here that was on top of our fridge. I don't know if I like this gold in here. And then I have two of these actually, but I only have one candle and they're the same height. So I don't know how I want to rearrange that. And then, um, yeah, so that's the dresser and that's like my husband's side right there and then over here. I just We have these like sunrise alarm clocks so and they have lights too So we really don't need lamps in here So then I found this little picture at a garage sale yesterday So I just put that in there 
with that colored frame. Maybe should do some artwork. Whoa, that's white. <laughs> Maybe should do some artwork in that corner there. So I'm not sure exactly what I'd do there either. All right, so above here, I've debated on a few things. So I thought about a collage of sun hats. So I have like this hat here, it makes really big. And a couple other ones, like two like this and one different one. Um, and then I also got something else if you saw my last thrift haul. So for summer decor, I'll show you those. Okay, or those three, which, you know, that's a lot of floral because they have the floral over there. And then if I have flowers there, I don't know. I just would probably need my husband to hold it up for me while I looked at it to see exactly what I'm thinking. So I don't know. Do I like it with that or do I want the hats? I'm not sure because this isn't really vintagey, but they're just, they're cute. <laughs> I just don't know exactly what I would, if I want them in the bedroom or not. I could always try it out and then take it down if I don't like that. down on the top of the fridge because I had a plant up there but it wasn't doing very well um I did the banana set basket and our tomatoes up there and it was nasty up there so I'm like I like having baskets it doesn't completely hide the imperfections up there but so is life just did you know five minutes to do that real quick and it is 10 20 girls came in from outside for a little bit and they're watching Curious George right now. I guess besides wiping out the top of the fridge, I just wiped out a few shelves because we'll get our raw milk order in today. So that comes delivered. Um, and so I needed to wipe that shelf down where the milk would go. I do really appreciate that we do get raw milk delivered from a great source. Um, so that's just a blessing. I love being able to get my girls that make my own yogurt with it drink it with my lattes i'm not a huge milk fan other like just plain drinking but oh boy will i drink it in things will i make stuff with it and it's just such good healthy fats that raw probiotic but speaking of um probiotic i'm gonna make some kombucha <laughs> so i got a kettle on the stove i'll use my um organic green tea bags and black tea bags and then let that start sitting because then maybe after baby comes i'll be able to have some kombucha so i'm just gonna quickly make that up here this morning as well and even probably start some homemade hummus just to have a few of those snacky um things prepared for after baby <music>
everyone had good lunch and a nice nap. I ended up taking a nice long nap too, which was definitely needed. So now I'm gonna make my um, hummus. My chickpeas are straining in the sink here. They cooked up nicely. I'll just use a few of them and then probably freeze the rest for a later use. So I'm gonna make that up and then my husband's going to stain the deck here this afternoon. And we're gonna play outside and just have a wonderful afternoon. This is made. I just used lemon pepper and some garlic and then got extra chickpeas to freeze. Maggie, is she drinking it? Maggie, here. Some. Maggie, are you gonna drink all that one? Okay. All right, milk delivery came. Yay, so I'm gonna make our iced lattes for the afternoon while Blaze is staining the deck and the girls are playing in their water table. All right, so I'm gonna take you out to show you a couple of my gardens here. The ones I put grass clippings on this morning. Um, we have one back here with my husband's aquaponics that we do, so that's a mix of fish farming and plants. Like the plants grow in the rocks. So that will get started this weekend too. And then my back garden right over here, and then I have one up beside our garage area. So you really can't see it very well right here, but I do have onions. Where's an onion? Maybe you can see just a little bit of onion growing up here. And then I have two rows of beets right here. We love beets. I make pickled beets and can them. We're on our last two jars. These are green beans. I don't do pole, I do bush type. And then we have our sugar snap peas that we'll put a little um, hog panel right here that they can grow up right there. And if you're new, this is the aquaponics. So you put the plants or seeds, like lettuce and spinach and things like that grow super well in aquaponics in the grow beds here. And it siphons the water through here where we'll have the fish in one side and then a spare water tank in the other side. So it's really cool system once it gets going. And it doesn't last super long in South Dakota where we're at because our growing season is so short. But it's a fun little um, hobby project my husband has. Okay, I have cucumbers here, three mounds of cucumbers. I'm gonna have to thin them, but they often don't grow all of them for me, but they did this time. And then two rows of carrots here. And then that's just some of my herbs that I have, like chamomile, parsley, um, oh, I can't even think right now, bee balm, things like that in some of those gardens there. This garden needs some hoeing, but I have potatoes in these three. One, two, three. Sweet potatoes will be coming from Johnny's seeds, so I'll have those shoots to put, and I'll put a hog panel right there so they can grow up. And I have some broccoli right there. We're also going to put broccoli in the aquaponics, and I ordered a few more plants from Azure because my broccoli didn't grow super well that I started. And then I have some sweet corn, two rows here, and then I'm going to do another planting of sweet corn all in this rectangle section there. I have some tomatoes over in those um, milk jugs there and a couple pepper plants. So that's what I have so far. It's very sparse looking right now, but you know, mid July, August, it is prevalent, full and looking great. How's it coming? <laughs> Definitely changes the look of it. Yeah, when it dries, it looks so much better.
Well, good morning. It is now a Sunday morning and we are getting ready to head out to church. We did a little watering this morning. Um, church is a little bit later than usual. We don't have Sunday school for like a week here. Then it transitions to um, an earlier church time. So I'm uh, just enjoying the outdoors a little bit. <coughs> <coughs> You're hearing my fern hanging, creaking behind me right now. But yeah, yesterday was a pretty productive day. Husband did a lot of outdoor projects, got the deck stained. We got to go eat out at a restaurant in a local small town, a Mexican restaurant. And I'm not gonna go to the flea market this afternoon. It's just gonna be too much um, going. We're just gonna hang out around the house, have a nice relaxing Sunday, and do some planting in the aquaponics today, and just kind of enjoy this rest of the relaxing weekend because who knows when baby comes and I should probably relax get myself a little bit better too and not just go 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 all the time even though that'd be so enjoyable but I didn't even go to that rummage yesterday either it just was too much so maybe I might even be able to get the deck set with some furniture on it and the rug my husband power washed that this morning for me too so it's just gonna be a nice relaxing Sunday so let's head out to church here <laughs> I haven't talked to you since before church and it was a beautiful time at church and then the girls had a nice nap. I napped again. <laughs> I'm just trying to recoup. My husband's out for a bike ride right now. Um, we're just spending a little time outside and I think he's almost back. So we are just going to enjoy some time outside. I'm drinking my iced coffee again. It's 3.30 already. I have deer bologna and sauerkraut in a slow cooker gonna have some fried potatoes with it just a really easy meal um, yeah I just it's a very been been a very low-key Sunday so not much to share with you on this day I'm looking into the Sun though so that's kind of challenging here but just gonna enjoy being outside and yeah this beautiful day So it's very simply done right now. I don't have much on here, but that's okay. The rug looks so much better. It had crab apple stains all over it. Um, I don't remember where I got it, but it's super lightweight, very easy to wash. Just use one of my saved ferns. This chair I got at a rummage from, I think for 20 bucks four years ago. It is coming apart in there. So I might need to upgrade a little bit. And then I got the cushions off of Marketplace for $4 a piece. There's some more um, on our little table set. Then I got the chair without the cushion, I think on Marketplace for 20 bucks. And then just put a few plants here. I think I need to put a fern right here to hide that. <laughs> our electrical box sits right there. But right now, this is what it is. But the deck color looks nice. It matches our shingles because they're kind of reddish. And then I can just show you the yes. Why are you doing that? Filming our patio set here. This was given to us. It's a nice white patio set. And then there's the other cushions. And then just right around here, I have my little fence piece. We have that was something I found on the side of the road. <laughs> and then my chairs from Marketplace Fine that I spray painted black. There's four of the black ones that I found for $60. So 
Just a fun little oasis we have in our backyard. It's running at least. That's very full, yeah, to help fill that so it's not like low spot. Spinach. I want lettuce. We'll do some spinach too. Oh, like. So we'll do some spinach. Why is it there? Oh, that's gonna be spinach. Spinach? Yeah. Yeah, that's spinach. all. Spinach, okay? I said spinach. Yeah, you can help me. Okay, so this grow bed is empty right now, but I'll put broccoli in there and maybe a couple tomato plants um, that I'll be getting from my Azure order tomorrow. And then I had a tomatillo, never grown that before, that's right here. My cilantro from seed started and grew well. It smells amazing, so I put that in here. Some pepper plants, and then this is all seed. Um, I have, I'll have to mark it, <laughs> spinach, kale, lettuce, and then basil over there, and they grow so well. I just sprinkled the seed on top, as you saw, and it'll grow really well. And then we will get fish in here after a few days. Um, the ammonia right now could kill them, so we do not put them in yet. And so it just is such a neat system and a fun thing to watch grow. Well friends, I'm probably just going to call it a vlog here. It's just such a beautiful evening. Got done watering our fruit trees and elderberry bushes and uh, my garden along the garage. So we're going to get our girls down. One's down. Uh, my husband's reading to the oldest. So just a beautiful day. We might have a fire pit tonight, my husband and I. I'm not sure. But just hope you enjoy coming along on this weekend. Pretty relaxed, chill weekend. Not much going on. As I'm <coughs> as I'm awaiting this baby to come. So hope you have a blessed and wonderful day and I'll talk with you in my next one.